Onisama has been finally been approved to enter into the tournament not as a support engineer, but an actual competitor in the most important event, the fucking monolith code or something. You know what the craziest thing is? The craziest thing is that our school thought it was okay to send fucking Morisaki and friends, these jobber NPC dudes, against the fucking Crimson Prince and... Cardinal George, wow, okay, George is, okay, I've been kind of shitting on George, you know, but he's like an important person, he's super smart. You know what, you know what the craziest thing is too? And well, we have to thank the terrorist group. We have to thank the terrorist group because if it weren't for them, our school would have lost. I am so happy that Morisaki got fucked up by the terrorist attack. Very fucked up for me to say this out of context, but if you understand what's been going on in this show, goddamn, thank you terrorists for taking out Morisaki. And now in the hospital, I hope he watches Onisama carry the fucking school. And will Morisaki have redemption? I don't know. I'd like to have one piece of shit that doesn't get redemption so I can continue to shit on them. Because Kirihara and Hanzo already got theirs. Monisaki, fuck you. Let's begin today's reaction. Leo? Oh yeah, we're, we're telling them. You're joining. Yeah, Yoshida, Leo, let's go. That's an honor to be handpicked by Onisama, though. Hmm, interesting that uh, Mizuki and Erika here, you know? They're, they're like the pair. Leo, Erika, you know? And the Yoshida, Mizuki. A defender defense. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna actually get the matches going. Oh, Yoshida. Okay, we're going immediately. Right into it. But these are the prelims. We're not fighting the Crimson Prince right off the bat, right? Yeah, not yet, not yet. But they're scouting. The gay lovers are scouting Onisama. Oh, he's not even looking. He's not even looking. <laughs> Masaka. <laughs> What's Grand Demolition again? Is that like super secret military arts or what is that? Oh, it's a similar type of magic we use when we stop that. Spell dismantling. Is that what de deconstructs the guns? Prez knows it? Everybody knows it? Oh shit! Super secret military magic? Dude, he wasn't even looking! That's the coolest part! Again, like, I'm reading this, I'm reading the explanation, but at the same time, I don't understand. Like, I am reading the words, but it's going into my head and going out the other... other in other words, basically. It's just dismantling it. That's pretty much it. Onisama can. Yeah, Mari caught on. There was uh, someone else helping out the bus. It wasn't just Miyuki. Oh, because you can't constantly... Because you'd be under attack. Leo! I want to see Leo just fucking... Behead people with the CAD. Look, look at it. Imagine how hard this would hurt. Like, oh god, oh! Just a chunk of metal. Oh! Dude, could you imagine just a chunk of metal just hitting you like that? Stop, he's dead! Oh. Oh. That's just brutal. Yoshida. No, it's we're under attack. No, this is Yoshida. Yoshida's using the mist magic, I don't know. Does this count as ambushing? I guess so, yeah. Yo, he's got two guns. Onisama got two guns. I want more transition scenes into the Crimson Prince and George and them just like freaking out over Tatsuya, just like over a little thing. Did he just jump using that magic sequence? How is he doing that? Impossible! Did you see that, George? <laughs> uh-huh. Tell me why it's super impressive. Biological weapon and Scions? Oh shit, Crimson Prince understands. Of course. Did you doubt Onisama? Uh-huh. No, it's our Onisama, okay? <laughs> Joji. Who would George be fighting? Yoshida or Leo? Probably Yoshida? I don't know. Yes, he's right! George knows! He's got that combat skills are insane. The experience from actual practical military, like, uh, missions? He intentionally didn't do it. That means that he has much more. Unable? You dumb motherfucker! Didn't he do that just to, like, you know, be nice to the... the opponents? Am I reading this wrong? I feel like Onisama did that intentionally to like he nerfed himself there. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. <laughs> you don't have an answer. Oh Onisama's looking at the camera! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
<laughs> this is just so ridiculous. We know how this guy. You think only someone's gonna lose? Come on now. Like no one thinks only someone's gonna lose, unless the terrorists interfere the tournament. Oh, it's the soundtrack. This whistle soundtrack. It's just. I don't know. It's ridiculous. I like this part, but the intro, the whistle, the whistle intro is funny. All right, Mikihiko's spirits. What is it doing? Vision, the scouting. Pretty useful. Only Sama can do something similar too, right? You can just like remember against that other terrorist group he was doing that. Too weak for Oni Sama. Come on. And the Mikiko is now reading the code. Now you gotta you know type your special code in there. Leo's about to clobber this guy. Oh, I feel sorry for this dude. Bang! Behead him. Halt. Halt? Some kind of magic to like prevent it from working, I guess. We already won. That was smart. We distracted him and the uh, Mikiko was like secretly doing the code. Wait. This is Jumonji, right? This looks like Jumonji, but it's not. It's not Jumonji. It's another Jumonji looking dude. And he's, go he's, he's going like this. What is this? What is he? What, what does this Jumonji look like, dude? It's Jumonji with the tan. Dude, she is that Oh, military dude. I think he's one of the military dudes. Give us a high spec CAD then, hmm? No, 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 Nisama's fine. Miyuki cares so much. Sugu? Uh, Mari's here too, and wait, is that Mari's boyfriend? Is that Mari's boyfriend, Shu? Is that why Erika hates this woman? Ah! That's why Erika doesn't really like Mari that much. Because Big Bro is fucking Mari. <laughs> she has no respect for Mari, man. This woman, female, corrupted. <laughs> She's a brocon, huh? Yeah, it's kind of out of line, Erika. This is kind of fucked up. It's funny for me. She's so mad in this vacation outfit. Oh yeah, Mari got injured too! Boyfriends has come to- Oh, look at her blush! She's like, you came to see me because I was injured? Yeah, Erika, you're being a little unreasonable, come on. She won't, she won't. <laughs> I will ref I refuse to apologize to this woman that corrupted you. What does corrupted mean? What does corrupted mean in this context, huh? I think it's just a jealous little sister. I think maybe Miyuki can understand. She can probably empathize. Seduced? Yeah, but like, they're probably in a relationship. I, I, like, what? She's just very super protective. Yeah, this woman, Bakani. I don't know that. Maybe he's a super important dude. We heard all of that. We heard all of it. Not so, it's kind of embarrassing, yeah? She does. But not as big a brocon like Miyuki is. <laughs> it's coming from you! Says you! Exactly. Brocon queen? Exactly. Oh shit, Crimson Prince going in. Alright, let's see this. I want to see Crimson uh, Prince fight. Look how confident he is just casually walking in the mid open space. Oh? Is that his magic? Is he stopped it? Okay. Just casually walking. Everyone's panicking and he's just walking. Is George providing support? No, they're not doing anything. It's just Crimson Prince just walking. <laughs> he uses something similar to that. Okay. No one can do anything, bro. Who's gonna stop him? What are you gonna do? What? He can just instant explosion? Okay, cool. Alright, cool. But... But what is this? Okay, that's the enemy's magic. But it's probably just gonna get to And they're both dead. What is that? This is a pretty ridiculous display of strength too. You know, he just casually walked, he couldn't do anything. Looked around, bang, bang. 
Maybe it's the Crimson Prince, not because of his crimson red hair, but explosions are crimson. He's like a mini Jumonji. Jumonji Light. Oh, wait, that was a declaration? That was a declaration, specifically to Onisama. Oh! He's basically saying, I'm going to do this to you. What are you going to do about it? Challenge me. Did Cardinal George set this up? <laughs> okay. Alright. Mmm, true. True, I didn't even think about that. They're hiding the other players' skills too. Weight type plus code. Based off of those facts. How would you even deduce that based on that fact? Sure, whatever, Onisama. Tell me what it is. Yeah, it's the child prodigy. Cardinal George. There's a third player too. Or are we just gonna ignore the third guy? Yeah. Oh. Well, my, I, we're not gonna lose here. Come on. Come on, Onisama. Let's just speed rush these dudes. No, not the monolith. Bye bye. And then boom. It's so cheap. It's not. Ch it is cheap. It's pretty OP that we can just like remotely enter the code in through Mikiko Spirit. It's really uh, yeah, yeah, useful. Erika and Mikihiko moments. Hmm. I mean, they're just childhood friends, but I thought it'd be more of like a him and Mizuki later. <laughs> yep, Mount Fuji, not you. <laughs> Came to see the mountain, not you. AKA, leave me alone. But you can stay, maybe? What? The romantic tension? No. What's going on here? Why is this down tech playing? There's nothing romantic between these two. I don't think so. No, no, no. Why are you blushing? What about Mizuki? And Erika, what about you? Leo! Quick! What is the soundtrack? The soundtrack is too romantic! Hold up. Such a beautiful soundtrack shouldn't be playing when two childhood friends are just watching a mountain. Y'all have your respective ships too. What's going on here? Noticed what? Okay, okay. Yes, Onisama fixed him. Hmm, Erika's been paying attention more than Mizuki. What the fuck does Mizuki know about Yoshida, right? Look at this, Erika the... Holy shit, is this a better ship than Erika Leo? Hold the fuck up. But childhood friends never win. Wait. If anything, I thought Mizuki might say that, but... He still says that at the end. That's like a running gag now. Uh, nurse. Is this our secret super OP CD we're gonna use? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? You're on your tippy toes. <laughs> nurse. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, she's not the nurse. She's a counselor, I think. Sasuga Cardinal Joji. I hope Onisama takes the bait. I want it to be a one-on-one -on -one duel between Crimson Prince Onisama in the open field. Are you sure? Why are you so confident? But it doesn't work on him? <laughs> Too cocky. Too confident. George has no idea what's about to hit him. I can't wait for this, man. It's ramping up. One more episode. I think next episode is gonna be the one where we finally get the one-on-one -on -one duel between Crimson Prince and Onisama. Now, the counselor there delivered some kind of suitcase. And they were talking about how Onisama didn't have like a proper... He had like a low-end spec uh, CD, right? So maybe there's like something special there, something super cool, like Silver Taurus worthy. And then it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one duel. Here's what I think is going to happen. They foreshadowed this lethal spell, Rupture, right? Rupture is probably going to get used at one point because Onisama is probably going to be too much for Crimson Prince. And then it's going to be interesting to see what happens after that. Oh, bro, the Crimson Prince is probably going to lose his cool, use Rupture, and Onisama is probably going to do something even cooler. And everyone's going to be like, oh my god! And then even Crimson Prince will have his eyes on Onisama and fucking George is gonna get cucked, okay? George is gonna get cucked and who even, who is even the third character in their team? It doesn't matter. It's just a genre. We have we don't care about the third character in their team. Anyways, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.